So, uh, yeah, we're here at Design Miami Basel at uh, the booth of uh, Christina Grayales mm -hmm. from uh, New York. Yes. Um, yeah, it's, it's not the first time that you're here in Design Miami. I think you participated since the beginning. My second time. My second time. I was very fortunate to participate in Design Miami from the beginning. From the first time we went to Miami in December 2005, then Basel last June, and now here we are again. I think it's developed, developed very nicely, the fair. It's incredibly to see the development. I mean, and also this year for us, it's very exciting to see this really beautiful building. So you're happy that they moved from uh, the other venue to this one, the Marktzelle? The theater was beautiful, and I was in the theater, but it was, it was a little difficult because the dealers were not all together. And at the end of the day, it's wonderful to have all the galleries together. Do you specialize in a certain uh, kind of design? Um, I specialize in post-war design, you know, primarily 20th century design, but now also I'm doing a lot of commissions with contemporary designers. And, uh, and I think that it's not a specialty, but I do love uh, handcraft. I do love pieces that are very well made and pieces that are made by hand. So I, that's what I respond the most to. I think that's, uh, that's also uh, natural materials then? Yes, natural materials. So, for instance, you know, the collection that we brought to Basel this year, you can see the bookcases behind you, they're all handmade in Chile. And basically each, each key has a screw. So again, from a um, craftsmanship point of view, it's magnificent. Uh, the pieces by Mira Nakashima, uh, these are probably the greatest pieces of red wood that she had in her collection. And as you can see, I mean, uh, the workmanship behind these pieces is extraordinary. Mm -hmm. And this is red wood, you said? This is red wood from California. Mm -hmm. Very old trees, very old planks of wood that she had. And she converted them into these magnificent pieces. Yeah. But what I love about these pieces also, she took a clue from the from the wood and she hand sculpted mm -hmm. this area. The, the rug where you're standing mm -hmm. is hand weaved by us in Colombia. Mm -hmm. And the materials are fascinating because you have a combination of materials from the Amazonas mm -hmm. and silk. Yeah. So it's a very wonderful combination. Mm -hmm. The other pieces that are sensational are Christophe Combe. He's a French um, furniture and lighting designer that we, we're working with. All the pieces are handmade and they're all glass and metal, as well as the lamps. Yeah. And this old glass set? Um... The glass is actually industrial glass mm -hmm. that he takes and he melts. Mm -hmm. So it's melted at very high temperatures. So what's beautiful about them is that every single one of them is different. Mm -hmm. Because when you open the kiln, you don't know what you're going to get. Mm -hmm. So he does the mold and then... Uh, no, it's not a mold. It's not a mold? No, you take a piece of glass yeah. and you melt it. But okay. technically it's very complicated. Oh, they are sensational. We already sold, we already sold this, um, this one. So you take this, is a solid crystal piece you know, of glass and it's melted glass. It's really beautiful. Um, so we love the work of Christophe. The, the candelabra is by Michel Ocadoner, this piece mm -hmm. over there. Yeah. And that piece is in bronze, and that's a, that's a mold from a, from mm -hmm. a tree branch. Yeah. And it really looks like wood. Sometimes you have to touch it. Mm -hmm. And the last pieces that I, you know, as far as textiles, we have the work of Sheila Hicks. Those are all twisted linen. And she's considered one of the greatest textile designers from the 20th century. She's, you know, she's uh, collected by the Metropolitan Museum, by all the greatest museums in the world. And the vases are all made with Missoni fabric by Stephen Burks. So again, you know, you take the element of textile, handcraft, in a piece of vase. Remarkably, it all fits together very well. It does, you know, it's uh, amazing that, as you can see, we do have a lot of different designers, but 
when pieces are designed well, yeah. they work together. They work together. Very nice. And um, what will be you? Oh, how do you select your artists, um, the designers? Um, how do you discover them? Well, I have been very fortunate that some of these designers they have come to me. You know, but I'm always looking. I'm always learning. I'm always trying to see what uh, what the designers who's coming out from the United States, from Milan, from different parts of the world, and, um, and try to see if they want to work with me. So it's always wonderful that they say yes. Yeah. And um, how does the um, design, the market for design, uh, develop in the United States, especially in the United States? Oh, in the United States, it's incredible. The designers, the collectors in the United States are very knowledgeable. They're very wise, they're very intelligent collectors. So they're very much, um, they're very ready to start collecting design because it is a good thing for them in regards to the art collection also. So it's yeah. a very good complement to their yeah. collection. Yeah. Has this changed in the recent years? Um, yes, it's changed incredibly in the past few years. There were always the really important collectors who were very knowledgeable and very smart, but I think that with the you know with the internet with the access to communication more collectors had access to information therefore they feel more confident in starting collecting design and also because you have things like design miami design miami basel i mean for basel this was a big deal i mean when we came last year it was the first time that you had a design exhibition alongside the art fair so even for basel it was a big it was a big moment yeah. Is there a difference between your audience in uh, Miami and uh, in Basel? It's a little different because Miami, at the end of the day, is a beach community. You know, it's Miami. It's tropical. Uh, people want to go to the beach and then they also want to go shopping. So it's a very different mentality. Uh, I think that the people in Basel are more serious. You know, it's more business-like. Miami, besides being business is also festive, you know. Does it take longer here, um, because you said they're more serious, does it take longer to convince um, uh, someone to buy a piece? No, on the contrary, it's, yeah. it's quicker, because it's quicker. the collectors are very focused, mm -hmm. you know, they're very... Um, so you know, they know what you want? They, they want. know what they want, and, and I think that when collectors come to Basel, I mean, you come to Basel to do business. You come to Basel to buy art and to buy design. You go to Miami to buy art, design, and to go to parties. So there's that other element, you know, which is wonderful. 